Welcome to table for 92, element number 19, potassium. It's number 19 because it has exactly 19 protons within its nucleus. For potassium, we're cooking up some deep fried avocado, grilled salmon, and grilled lemons. Potassium has been used since antiquity. It was known as potash or pot ash, which is just burnt leaves mixed with water and then evaporated. Potash was used for making soap, glass, and ceramics, but most importantly, potash or potassium was used as an agricultural fertilizer. Potassium is abbreviated K on the periodic table for kalium, the Latin and then later German word for potash. And as Borat Sagdiev reminded us in his wonderful rendition of the Kazakh national anthem, Kazakhstan is number one exporter of potassium and has superior potassium to other Central Asian countries. If you've ever wondered, actually, Kazakhstan is nowhere near the top potassium exporters in the world, let alone Central Asia, but Borat made it sound real. Now regarding the quality of the potassium of Kazakhstan, I have no idea. I don't know where Sasha Baron Cohen came up with that. I mean, it's pure comedic genius. I'm just glad he walked out of that stadium alive. Seriously. Now, our bodies need potassium in all tissues of the body, most importantly, to maintain normal levels of fluid inside our cells. It is estimated that the daily recommended amount is 2,320 milligrams for women and 3,016 milligrams for men to maintain general health. Now, the counterpart of potassium on the periodic table, sodium, maintains normal fluid levels in cells, and therefore, both elements are often studied together. With modern diets so high and processed foods, we often get way too much sodium and not enough potassium. Potassium is just incredibly important for human health. Levels of potassium even got Ron Swanson, a carnivore, to eat a banana, albeit he could only do that stuffed into a cheeseburger. When you think about potassium in your diet, you often think, you know, bananas, but potassium is found in so many different foods. It's really incredible, like dried fruits, nuts, beans, lentils, squash, potatoes, salmon, spinach, broccoli, avocado, bananas, of course, and a bunch of other stuff. Mainly fresh fruits and vegetables, but salmon seems to be one of the highest among fish for potassium content. As potassium is very closely related to sodium, you know, they're table buddies. Potassium is substituted for sodium in table salt for people, you know, who are on a salt-restricted diet. But apparently, potassium chloride has a really bitter taste if heated, so you're not actually supposed to use it while actually cooking. 95% of potassium in the body is found in the ion K+. It's concentrated in cells. Besides the human body, along with nitrogen and phosphorus, it's one of the most crucial macro minerals for plant growth. In fact, it's like 95% of the potassium that is mined out of Earth is used as fertilizer in agriculture. It is a bit of a balancing act, like too much potassium and it will badly affect germinating seedlings, too little potassium and you get a really reduced crop. Before synthetic fertilizers were invented in the last hundred years or so, potassium would have been added to soil through the burning of plants, you know, slash and burn agriculture, or from animal excrements, manure. Potassium was finally discovered and isolated because of the invention of the modern battery by Alessandro Volta in the last years of the 19th century. Volta's invention started to be recreated in laboratories all over the world, and Humphrey Davy, the famed English chemist who discovered a buttload of elements, created his own battery made with 24 plates of copper and zinc, 12 inches square, 100 plates of six inches and 150 of four inches square. So yeah, it was like a battery the size of the entire laboratory. The electricity in those batteries allowed for Davy to electrify compounds and isolate lone elements. This he was able to do on October 6th, 1807, using potassium hydroxide, also known as lye, one of the main ingredients for soap, that is created by burning wood, taking the ashes out, and putting them in a pot where the potassium hydroxide will float to the surface. Apparently, when Davy electrified the potassium hydroxide, it created a violent effervescence that was followed by an explosion and bright flame. Afterwards, and suddenly, there was globules of pure potassium covered in a thin white film. So for the deep fried avocado, three dredges, I'm using flour, four beaten eggs, and a mix of panko and crushed potato chips. Potassium makes up 2.6% of Earth's crust and 0.4% of the human body. It is the second softest metal after lithium and can be cut through with a butter knife. It's a member of the alkali metals. Potassium, like all the other members of the alkali metals, 
react violently with water. So if you ever see a sample of pure potassium, it's probably gonna be in a vial of terrapin oil, just so there's no accidental explosions. Potassium is incredibly important for our health and for farming, and it's found in absolutely delicious foods. Mmm, that is good. The garlic salt at the end really helps. Thanks, see you next time. This is a cool show, right? You like this show, just click that subscribe button, just clickety-click.